So the PCs are bounty hunters. They park their ship on an alien planet and head off on an adventure. Lots of exciting stuff happens. There are gunfights that they win and unexpected treasure that they claim. But when they return to their ship, they find it being stripped for parts by opportunistic Jawas. Cue an exciting chase scene, followed by adventure hooks that lead to some startling revelations. While keeping in mind that RPGs aren't movies, how could we include awesome stuff like this in our games? Now, one option, obviously, is that our game master, John Favreau, just had a really cool idea and made it happen. Nothing wrong with that, of course. But what if we wanted to take it one step further than that? The cool thing here is the discovery that the game world exists beyond our line of sight. So how can we keep the world in motion even when the players aren't looking at it? One technique is non-focal random encounters. Now, random encounters can be used to achieve a lot of different effects, but one of the ways they can be used is as a procedural content generator, providing a creative prompt to the GM for an event. Because the, the camera of our game session is almost always focused on the PCs, we tend to think of the event generated by the random encounter tables as intersecting the path of the party. It's something that happens randomly in the place where the PCs happen to be. But it doesn't have to be. You can just as easily use procedural content generators to model events happening off-screen. For example, if the PCs leave mounts or henchmen at the entrance of a dungeon while they go delving within, you can just make random encounter checks for the group left behind. When I ran The Sunless Citadel, an adventure by Bruce Cordell, as part of my first D&D 3rd Edition campaign, the PCs left their mounts on the surface while they went down into the Citadel. I rolled regular random encounter checks, and when the PCs returned, they found the horses still there, calmly munching grass, and surrounded by a dozen goblin corpses that had been burnt to a crisp. What the hell had happened? We can imagine alternate universe Game Master Jean Favreau doing the same thing. The Mandalorian leaves his ship, so Favreau makes a random encounter check for it and gets Jawa Sandcrawler. What would Jawas do upon finding an unattended ship? Strip it for parts. Ultimately, what I'm suggesting is pretty simple. Roll random encounters for locations and people that aren't the PCs. That's it. That's the tip. Now, you can generalize this by identifying what the PCs care about and then rolling encounters for those things. This might include people, places, organizations, or, as we've seen, ships. The rate and nature of these encounters will depend on what and where these things are. The henchmen at the dungeon entrance are easy because you can just roll on the dungeon's random encounter table. You've got the same thing with the Mandalorian ship because Favreau can just roll on the desert planet encounter tables. But what about the PC's favorite tavern, or their emotionally troubled ward, or their political patron? The effects of this technique can be dramatic, incidental, or even strategic. It might just be a PC's mother calling to complain about about a myconid infestation in the garden, but it can also prompt the players to preemptively react. For example, if you're going to leave your mount somewhere, maybe you should try to make it somewhere with a lower rate of random encounters. Or figure out a way to camouflage the camp in order to reduce the rate of random encounter checks. Now, in the most generic version of this technique, you can just create a list of important things in the campaign and then roll encounter checks for everything on the list as part of your session prep. Maybe each thing has a 1 in 6 or a or 1 in 10 chance of an encounter. Whatever feels right to you. If an encounter is indicated, it just means that this element of the campaign world has seen some sort of interesting development. What is it? And more importantly, how will the PCs learn of it? This can be a really easy way to keep a big, complicated campaign world in motion without needing to, to constantly grapple with the almost impossible enormity of managing an entire universe. It can also just be a good way of reminding the players that the campaign world does, in fact, continue to exist, even when they're not looking at it. You know what else continues to exist even when you're not looking at it? The subscribe button. Pop down to the font of all knowledge and catch it in the end. You might also want to check out the links I have down there to other random encounter advice. Good gaming. This is Justin Alexander, and I'll see you at the table.